Hello everybody and welcome to Web Factory 2010. This is the second part of the Web Factory User Manager tutorial and, and in this second part we're gonna talk about the Active Directory users inside Web Factory User Manager. Now the first thing we need to do is to check what kind of users we have on our system and for this I'm gonna open up the user accounts management window and as you can see over here I have a couple of users on this machine and the first user is a local user and the second user is a domain user now I'm gonna create a user for each one of these and show you how to work with a local web factory user and a domain web factory user so let's head in the user manager and let's click the arrow pointing down on the right side of the new web factory user button. The second option of our drop down menu is the new active directory user and I'm gonna click this option to create a new active directory user. You can see from the start that the domain user checkbox is marked and it cannot be unmarked. So I'm gonna name this user Alex and I'm gonna save the user. You can also notice that we have no password for this user and why? Because Web Factory will look inside Active Directory for this user and will use the password from the Active Directory to log in to Web Factory. So I'm gonna create a second Active Directory user and this time I'm gonna use the second name. I'm gonna save the user and now we have two Active Directory users. One user is for the local user and the other user is for the domain user. Now in order for Web Factory to work with the Active Directory, with a domain security, I'm gonna go into the settings, into the general settings and I'm gonna make sure that the domain security is checked. And I'm gonna put the domain I want to use over here. So I want to use the localhost domain I can enter localhost over here or if I want to use the web factory domain like I have over here I'm gonna enter web factory and let's use the web factory domain now back into the user manager our active directory users have similar settings to our normal web factory users and these users can belong to authorization groups but in a little different way you see the active directory users have roles inside Active Directory. Now, if the roles inside Active Directory have the same name with the authorization groups inside Web Factory User Manager, then when the user will log in with its Active Directory credentials, it will automatically be a part of the authorization groups inside the User Manager if the names are the same. So basically the user details from the Active Directory will be imported in Web Factory. Now, when a user logs in with a valid Active Directory credential, a corresponding user will be created inside the Web Factory database if it doesn't already exist. The initial user settings will be, just like I told you before, adopted from the Active Directory default user settings that were defined by the network administrator. Also, there will be an additional user property that defines if the user account belongs to a Web Factory user or to an Active Directory user. The password verification for Active Directory users while logon will always be done in real time against the Active Directory server. The Web Factory system will not store any Active Directory user passwords and this is a very important point. Now we can use just like I showed you before the Active Directory user inside Web Factory and it will automatically get all the details including the credentials from the Active Directory and use them inside Web Factory. But we also can use local users. Remember at the beginning of this video we have defined two users. The first user, like I told you, doesn't belong to any domain but it is a user of this machine, so it's a local user. And the name you see under the domain tab over here, Rack PC, it is the name of this machine. So in order to use local users instead Active Directory users, the first thing we need to do is head back into the general settings 
and we can safely uncheck the domain security because we don't need it anymore and here inside the domain name we're going to use the same domain name that we have for our local users so basically we're going to use the computer name and this computer name is rack pc if we go back into user manager we can safely use our local user with web factory again the local groups must have the same name as the authorization groups from the web factory user manager so the groups of this user must have the same name with this authorization group and in this case you can see my user belongs to the administrator group and we have no administrator group defined in the user manager authorization group section but I can check other in the user properties and I can assign a group that I want a group that I can create here and also I can create a group with the same name in the authorization group section of the user manager and if this will happen the user manager will automatically assign the correct authorization groups to the user based on the groups that this user belongs to in my Windows machine so this is how you use Active Directory and local users with Web Factory user manager so this is all for now I'm gonna meet you next time when we're gonna talk about more interesting features of Web Factory 2010 see you later